glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. You know what time it is. Time to spin that ACC wheel of destiny. Time to buckle up in the ACC. That's going to do it for us. Thanks for checking out the pregame show. NCAA college football action coming right at you. Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I are back at halftime. Gallagher is lined up and just about ready to send this one off as we're ready to get this game underway. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 26. The Gamecocks and their ground game's always been sensational. It's not always one guy, Herbie. Sometimes they've got two or three that can carry the load. And that's what makes it so tough for this defense is you're not focusing in on just one guy. You're focusing in on really an entire scheme. And because of that diversity, I think it makes it more of a challenge. And you got to be better tacklers in the open field. And, and I think that's really what they've stressed all week is tackling and gang tackling and getting to the football. Hard to get to guys and make tackles in space. Second down and nine to go. Ball on their own 27. Tackle made around the 39-yard line. South Carolina's got a guy that statistically is leading the conference right now, and he has got the attention of everybody in the country, including the coordinators. yard line perfectly run option keeper not what you'd expect when you prepare all week to defend the option but then again give this offense some credit these guys aren't exactly the scout team let's see now how the defense responds to giving up the gain on the run pulls it in and he's in the open field They'll bring him down at about the 17-yard line. That's good for a gain of eight yards. That makes it second and two. Young again, and they get nice yardage on that run. Great job here converting and keeping this defense on the field. They're getting very tired. From the 12-yard line, first down. Ready, green on the Fires out to his wideout. He's tackled at the eight. That makes it second and six. Open field. Touchdown, South You've got to give each of these guys credit for getting in sync, really fighting to create that touchdown. And he tacks on the extra point. Let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio. 
Time to check out the proceedings on the farm in Palo Alto. There was never any room to breathe in this game. And for Adams, he gets off with big numbers. Five touchdown passes on the day. After this performance, only one way to describe him. Flat boy dog warrior. The Raging Cajuns win it by three. Thanks, Reese. 7-0 game here. South Carolina to kick. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. There's a strike complete. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. Parker gets the ball. He fights forward to about the 40. He's taken down at the 42. That's good for a game of two yards. That'll make it second and seven. Taken down as he works the left for a nice game. That's a team of five on play. That makes it there in three. Counter right side. And he's taken down right around the 50. I love this wide receiver. I know what he can do catching a football. But man, he's trying to get in line to say, hey, I want to carry the football. He's trying to push that starting running back out of a job. And they'll bring him down behind the line. That was just smash mouth, helmet to chin football by the defensive line there. They dominated the point of attack. It's second down and 11 to go. Ball on the 49 yard line. is out to the tailback on the screen. He's knocked out of bounds at about the 47-yard line. That makes it 37. He's scrambling. Caught with room to work. And down he goes. Right around the 38-yard line. Getting him the ball in the passing game creates real havoc for the defense. There aren't many linebackers who can stay with him in coverage, that's for sure. Goes left and tackle in a hurry. That makes it second and ten. Two for two on third downs in this drive, and they'll try to convert again here. He's got to throw it in a hurry. Going for it all to the end zone. The coaches have to be ecstatic with that kind of effort from the corner. No quit, no getting beat on that long pass. Williams back to return it. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. Yeah, I think we saw the effects of what a long drive can do to a defense the last time this offense was out on the field. They took that football and drove the length of the field to put points up on the board. And I think it really started to affect not only just the, the psyche of this defense, but maybe even the conditioning where they started to get a little bit fatigued. From their own 34-yard line, first down. South Carolina is up by a touchdown. 
Throws complete. He's got space to work. Knocked out of bounds around the 41 yard line. That'll bring up second and three. He's at midfield, and he's tackled at the 47. Call it again at 12 yards. First down. It's first and 10. Ball on the 47-yard line. Here we go! Complete. He's got room. Brought down around the 35-yard line. Great on the tackle at the 35-yard line. That, that makes, makes it first, first and ten. ten. Get up, get up, get up! Let's go! Ready, go! Quick pass. He gets hit out of bounds around the 20-yard line. That's good for a gain of 15 yards. After a quarter of play, we've got a low-scoring defensive battle on our hands. The Gamecocks with a touchdown lead. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. Inside the 10. And he's level at the five yard line. That makes it first and goal. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. South Carolina up seven points. Let's go! And he carries the ball for a nice game. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Touchdown, Gamecocks. And he hits the PAT. It was an eight-play, 78-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. Caught at the eight. He wasn't breaking that tackle. What a hit. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. On play action. Quick out to his receiver. Tackle at midfield. Not the greatest pass, but a really, really good play by the receiver to bail out his quarterback. This is the kind of play you want to see if you're a defensive player because not only is it a negative play, but this can really impact and affect the emotion of the game. Just looking down and looking at the energy on the field and even on the sidelines, you can see that the defense is fired up after that play. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. And he throws it away. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. And they make the stop the 47-yard line. Makes the catch, but just not enough for the first. Yeah, they're going to come up a little bit short here. Nice job by the defense of preventing this completion from turning into a first down. The punter is going to try to pin them deep in their own territory with a good punt here. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. 
You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead, and on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. Caught out in the open. And he is drilled at the 31. That's good for a gain of 11 yards. That makes it first and 10. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 31-yard line. Ready, ride, set, run. Throws it in a hurry. Tackle made at the 43-yard line. That's a game of 12 on the play. First down. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on their own 41. He slings it. They'll bring him down right around the 42 yard line. first he steps out around the 42 yard line a nice looking play that time well the defense was blitzing here and again great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver from the 42 yard line it's first down Second and five. On the ball, on the ball, on the ball, on the ball. Ready! Ready! He gets rid of this one. This is the eighth play of this drive. Side give. He gets out to about the 35 yard line. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. store this time out. Quick throw out to the receiver. He's tackled at the 43. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. But they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. Short yardage situation here. Second down and one. the middle makes it to the 47 Syracuse will take their second time out of the half From the 47 yard line. Second down. He's taken down at the 37 yard line. Caught and he's 
steps out of bounds. I love to watch quarterbacks on third down to just kind of see where they are as far as their psyche and, and their, their approach in the game. It's another big third down. He was able to sit back, evaluate the defense, had just enough time to be able to make the throw. They pick up the first down, they get a new set of down. Quick throw, and he's taken down around the 17-yard line. Good gain on the pass to the running back. This young man is becoming more and more part of this passing game. He does a great job of making guys miss after the catch. The field goal unit's out on the field, and they're going to try to get these guys three points before halftime. The kick is up. And it's good. It's been a well-fought game as we head to the half. South Carolina's in front by 11. we played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. There is nothing, and I mean nothing, that is more important than turnover. Now, so far, neither defense has been able to force one in this game, but you never know when that opportunity is going to come up. No, and people look at turnovers and they assume that it's luck a lot of times, but a lot of times it's preparation. It's being able to know that when certain teams line up like South Carolina back in 2002 in a certain formation where it's Tucson open stud, and they got three receivers to my side, and I know it's a rollout pass. As a defensive end, I widened my stance a little bit, came up field, hit the quarterback as he was throwing it. Next thing you know, the ref signals his hands up in the air, and you get six points for it. So you can definitely be prepared, and that's how you force those turnovers. That's going to do it at halftime. Just about ready to start the second half. All right, you finish it up, brother. I'm going to get something in the cafeteria. I'm hungry. But, but wait, don't wait until you get my order. Brad Kirk, take the second half. All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. Moss takes it at the four. Across the 30. Whoa, he just took a licking. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. White on the give. Gets to about the 34-yard line. That makes it second and 10. He's going to try and scramble. Diving for extra yardage. Nice job by the quarterback to tuck that one and run. Nice job here. He's not the most athletic quarterback out there, but you can see that he makes up for it with his decision-making ability. Here he looks downfield, finds nobody open, and decides to take off with it and comes up with a solid game. Nice run there. That brings him second and five. Keep it on the ground again. He makes it to the 42-yard line. Call it again, three yards. That'll bring up 32. Three down, three down. Check, 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 check. Makes the catch and look out. And he hits him hard at the 37. down 10 yards to go ball on the 25 yard line play action here he's going to scramble slides down to the ground Huge 
play, and now they're in a great position to score. on his hands near the end zone, and he showed you why right there. And he adds the extra point. Gallagher has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. Williams takes it from the six. He's out to the 30. He's tackled at the 36. Wow, close game here. And up and down the field with both these offenses matching what the other's done. Well, it's fun to watch each offense get an opportunity to go out and make plays. And you're right, you almost feel as, as if one offense feels challenged and has to be able to bounce back, and they've done that. We're about set to start things up again. South Carolina holds a four-point lead. his man first down Game 12 on the play. that makes it first and ten from their own 48 yard line first down throws incomplete he let that pass get away from him I think he's a little bit anxious he actually looked a little bit too juiced that time but he'll get the next one Him hard at the 39 yard line. Gain of 13 yards. First down. First and 10. Ball on the 39 yard line. Throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. That pass didn't look exactly right when it left his hand. Sometimes you don't get a great grip on the ball and it comes out a little wobbly. Need to get it to the 29. He zips it. Spectacular play, and now it's first and goal. That makes it first and goal. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. South Carolina is up four. Got an opening. Touchdown, South Carolina. That option was so smoothly executed. He looked totally in control on that keeper. And he tacks on the extra point. A seven-play, 64-yard drive, and the result, seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drop. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. The score now, 21-10. It's fielded at the two. He's got the corner. And down he goes at the 35-yard line. 
There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives that they want to get back in the game. Brought down at about the 45. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Tackles him for a loss. Loss of one on the play. That'll make it third and five. That's the end of three quarters of play, and this one's a little tighter than the experts thought. 21-10, South Carolina. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. And he's level at the 15. From the 17 yard line, it's second down. Tackle around the nine yard line. Fires this one. Got his receiver. Touchdown. So the offense will stay on the field and attempt the two-point conversion. Scrambling around. And they won't get the two. A 10-play, 64-yard drive. But the failed two-point conversion keeps it a six-point score. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drop. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. Looking for the corner. Inside the 30. And he's taken down at the 24-yard line. Brad, this is my kind of game. I love seeing this kind of production and the way these quarterbacks are playing. Both teams are challenging both of these defenses. When you're a quarterback and you start this close to the end zone, your eyes just light up when you take the field. Conversely, the defense is thinking, uh-oh, we can't let him get another one so quickly. Find his man and they take him down immediately. That brings him second and five. 
Second and five coming up here. Ball on the 19 yard line. And he's going to lose big yardage. He's tackled immediately after the catch. Third down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 23. yard line. What a relief it is for a quarterback to know that he's got a receiver like this who can step up when he needs him on third down. From the 13 yard line. First down. Just under three to go in regulation. Syracuse is going to take their first time out of the half. So the draw to the halfback picks up four. From the nine-yard line, second down. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. The defense was able to get really good penetration and drop him short of the line of scrimmage. should be makeable. It's up, and they tack on three points. South Carolina gets set to kick this one away. He's to the 20. At the 30. What a tackle. That was going to be a touchdown. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Zips it to the tailback incomplete. That makes it second and ten. From their own 49-yard line. Second down. Just under two to go in the game. And this may be fourth down territory if they can't get a first down here. And he's knocked down immediately after the catch. down 10 to go ball on the 20 yard line there's a strike complete he's down the spike will stop the clock Got a man 
tackled for a loss. That was a loss of four yards. That makes it fourth and eight. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. They'll need something really big here out of their quarterback on fourth and long. This one's going deep to the end zone. It's always a gamble going for it with so many yards to come up with. But when you're behind, sometimes you have to take risks to get back into a ball game. The whistle hasn't sounded yet. They still have to snap the ball and make sure they don't make any mistakes. Under a minute left in the game. And the quarterback's going to take a knee to drain this clock and any hopes the opposition may have had. From their own 16-yard line, it's second down. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. The quarterback takes a knee, and that's always a good sign if you're a fan of this team. So this one goes final. A hard-fought, close game. 24-16, South Carolina. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herb Street, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.